Ah, uh, chemical reactions. Did you know chemical reactions happen when molecules of one substance break apart and combine with other substances? So then a different compound can be made. If you don't know much about chemical reactions, then you're in luck, because you're watching a special edition of BDTV for December 14th, 2018. And coming up on today's show, Matt Owens Method and what not to do in the lab. Blue Devil Television. Blue Devil Television. Blue, 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 blue. Blue Devil are everywhere, like H2O for example. This is hydrogen and oxygen combined. Water is pretty important, but so is the scholarship bulletin, so make sure you check that out in guidance along with service hour opportunities. And this past weekend was music extravaganza. to the music department on their performance. And remember, December 19th is National Signing Day. See Coach Pritchard for more information. Natal Madeline with all of her methods. Did you know that everything is made from chemicals and chemicals can react to form new chemicals? Everything is made out of chemicals, like the screen you're watching the food and drinks you're eating, even the clothes you're wearing. Here you go. Sometimes chemicals react with each other to form new chemicals, like when metal rusts or you hear your stomach growl. Chemical reactions happen when electrons, which are in everything, hook together. For example, H2O is when two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecule react with each other to create water. I'm made out of chemicals. I'm made out of chemicals. I'm made of chemicals. I'm made out of chemicals. We're all made out of chemicals. Here we have an evaporation dish, magnesium metal, hydrochloric acid, and a dropper. If you try this at home, make sure you have all proper safety equipment and supervision. Take the magnesium metal and place it on the evaporation dish. Then place a drop of hydrochloric acid into the metal and watch this chemical reaction. Let's take one more look. And you don't have to know all the chemical reactions because they're grouped together on the periodic table. And remember Winter Haven? Science rules. <laughs> Ice is a reversible change. Because if it melts, you can freeze it right back. But these are only physical changes, not chemical. Hey Alexa, did you know that the new protests are going to be taken on the week of December 17th? You need at least three tutoring sessions with one of your teachers. See Ms. Lewis or Ms. Warner for more information. Today is the last day for Toys for Tots, and remember, the seventh period that collects the most toys earns a dessert party and a private performance from the Blue Devil Comedy Brigade. Please remember, no food or wrapped items. Let's go see Avery with the SAT question. This is Avery with the SAT question. Which of the following is the least chemically reactive? A. Argon, B. Oxygen, C. Sulfur, or D. Titanium? The answer is A. Argon. This is because argon is a noble gas, and noble gases are relatively unreactive. This has been Avery with the SAT question. I hope I taught you a thing or two about chemical reactants. Some chemical reactions are quick to occur, like explosions. Others take a little longer, like rust. Huh? Seniors, remember that the Polk Education Foundation scholarships have been moved to open in January. Your service hours must be completed and turned into Ms. Bachman before winter break, and make sure your FAFSA is completed so you can sign up for those scholarships. Now, on to Liam and Charlie with some fun lab safety tips. Okay, Charlie. I'm glad we finally got some time after school to get this lab done. I don't want to be here long, so let's get to it. I'm with you. Okay, do you have any idea what we just did? No, I, no. Okay, me neither. But you know what made me feel better about the situation? If we did it right. Some good old popcorn. Oh. So, yeah. would you like some? Yeah, thank you. Oh, five seconds. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm do good. You do? I'm do you good. Do you think it messed it up? I don't I don't know. <sighs> Smells fine to me. Smell. <laughs> Liam, you're supposed to waft it! And I think we're getting close, but oh wait, we wait, need, wait, wait, we need some of this. A drop we? of that. Yeah. Yes. Good call, my man. Wait, 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 wait. What in the world was that? Dude, I, I can't see. Hell, scared me. I'm lost. I'm lost. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You know, I'm really proud of us. I think this deserves a, a quick vid, you know? Yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, Liam and Charlie here. We're so excited we finally finished our product. We just don't know how to Oh! oh dude. I'm so sorry, Charlie. Oh, I'm so sorry. Dude, dude, oh. Help me out! Shower, 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 shower. It's stuck! Here's a rotting banana. This is an example of a chemical change. This is a chemical change because it breaks down by chemical force, not physical. But you know what hasn't changed? The Banyard sale. It'll be on December 15th in the Building 34 parking lot. And on the same day, December 15th, your fellow classmates will compete for the title of Miss Winter Haven High at seven o'clock. This year's pageant will be hosted by Adam Frost and Ford Simmons. The tickets are $5 at the door, so come out and see who wins the crown. And any seniors interested in the new course for dual enrollment through Southeastern University for second semester, please contact a guidance counselor during lunch. And you know, to take a college course, you have to expand your vocabulary. So let's go to Adam with this week's Word of the Week. I'm Adam with the Word of the Week. The Word of the Week is reactant. The reactant is the starting material in a chemical reaction. An example of a reactant in a sentence would be, hydrogen is a reactant which when combined with oxygen can make water. I'm Adam and I hope I helped you expand your scientific vocabulary. And this is a chemical reaction. You're right, almost everything is a chemical reaction. There will be more than a chemical reaction if students that need to make up classes that are requirements don't see their guidance counselor. So make sure you go see your guidance counselor about getting a permission slip to enter the program with Coach Parton or go to room 34 123. You know, it's mind-blowing how science impacts every aspect of our lives. You're so right. Well, that's it for today. I'm Daniel. And I'm Lauren. Catch you in the lab, Winter Haven.